It's fancy, bro. It's All right, today, this is a project. I've never seen one of these. I don't know how it works. I think we're gonna try to use this on a Terminator X to get our thermistor inputs, which do not come with Terminator X, only an HP and Dominator. But this does it. We're gonna find out if that works together at all or if we're just, you know, whatever. Let's go. Oh man, you know things are getting serious when you got the instructions. In. What is this? Can IO module. All right. Is it in English or in Spanish? No, that's good. This actually, oh, that's great. This actually all makes sense right here. I mean, it says temperature sensor. So that's thermistor. This should work. We're learning together today. Hmm. Welcome. I'm a big Holly guy now. Big Holly guy over here. I figured out Cody Shark, no problem. I wasn't getting spark and I wasn't getting uh, Power of the fuel injectors. And guess what? There's a green wire is missing again. <laughs> Fixed it. And then two grounds. I found grounds. But we got it. That was a Mexico trip. No, that was a different truck. Well, a different truck? This is, that was Richard's truck. I, had, I didn't call you this time. I figured out on my own. Well, that's because I showed you what was wrong the last time. I know, but I, there's also two grounds that you didn't show me that I weren't connected to. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, we're good, though. Let's keep going here. Yeah. All right. So after reading the instructions, I had to read the instructions. Uh, it looks like we can make a sub harness for this or a small harness that goes in here. I have the pins, fortunately, that my friend Dom left me because I had a hundred of these and someone borrowed them and they're not in my supply anymore. So let's get to making the harness for this. And I think this should be straightforward. The programming, we'll figure it out when we get there. Now, I normally make these myself with different color wires. These ones have any pigtails, so we're just gonna go ahead and crimp these onto those and then just pay attention to what side our wire's going on that side. This is what I got without going to the store. So if you've never pinned one of these, they're pretty cool. You just click this open, insert the pins, click it close, and you're good to go. Well, what I didn't know is this can came with all this wire. Mark would have not on me, but... You don't ask questions. I mean, that's partially true. But now we got these connectors so we can do it the correct way without my OCD going nuts. So this is rad. Okay, I'm liking this even more. Moving forward. All right, well, Mark over there, relax. We got to, we got to step this one done. Now we got to go put it in the truck. I guess. What time do we go to Hong Kong? I don't know. Let's see how long this takes to finish. Just kidding. Come on. I don't lay weight on me. Well, here we go again. I don't get paid enough for this. I'm gonna pull that wire up from the trans so we can measure the temperature. Since we have no sending unit in the fuel tank, which is also a thermistor. Yeah, that's definitely a problem for tomorrow. Since we're already being prim and proper with this, I pulled the uh, Deal out, made us a new one. Should plug this in. And then start configuring this thing. So this is all the work just to get to this part. But we're almost there. <laughs> all right, I've got a Terminator X up under the dash. This guy will probably be near it somewhere. Mount, Mark said he will make a mount. Got our access panel right in there. And now we can start configuring and figure this all out. Okay, so for now, we temporarily hung this guy. This is for our fuel later. Here's this guy coming up now. Tidy the wires up when they decide where that's going. We have our CAN bus plugged in to our expander. And we'll put the plate back on. And and you're ready to go. Ground hook up. Key on. Send it. Okay, so we have communication. That's good. Offline. Add config. IO. Assuming a default works. Okay. We'll see. We had that. Because 
I don't know. I sorry, I jumped ahead a little bit. So I had seen stuff in our inputs before, canned stuff, and of course this is why we're using it. So once we select what we need, can thermistor, and our configuration, we have to get our can settings. That number's on the back of the box. Here's our broadcast rate, and then we'll continue on. This is my first time doing it. I believe I'm doing it right. The instructions aren't very detailed besides just being very vague. So I'm going to keep going and then I'll kind of update you along the way of what I've done and see if it works. Of course we're going to set up a custom therm. Mark said he already has our resistance values so we just put them in here. And I'm assuming this is going to work. I have a feeling he doesn't really have one. He's lying. He's on the internet right now. That's what we need right there, bud. You're welcome. Good job. Okay, we did it. We got our thermistor table set up. Uh, Mark's been on his phone, like always. Wow. I mean, what's the next step? I guess we just try this and see if it works or not. <laughs> Save it. Send it. Dude. Mark, I think we did it. So I actually had 899, said 866. But there still is no instructions for this, so we fumbled around like <laughs> monkeys. Yeah, all those YouTube <laughs> YouTubers ain't worth a shoe. <laughs> yeah, so I guess this is the video on how to set these guys up. As long as all this is right. So I came over here, and then the data monitor, you know, here. I'm going to scroll over, find our trans temp, add it to IO box. And then it worked. So now we'll update the dash and get it to work there. Yes. Well, after uh, some fun 7 inch dash updates, figured that out. Now we actually see our external I.O. on the dash without any error messages. You did it, Mark. Congratulations. Holly has no directions for this, and their website is not the best. But we kept working. I mean, where are we in this, like an hour and a half, two hours deep? Yeah. Well, also, if you're going to do an update, they only accept certain memories. So, like, nothing else works. When I found this in my desk, it takes a memory card. This is the only thing that worked to update the firmware on this dash. Okay. Kudos. Well, that concludes our uh, experience. Could have gone better, but we got through it. Mark's over here now, messing with stuff. I mean,. You really should put a custom background on there, but... For vlogging, you know, it's a vlogging camera. The the angle of it just is so tight. I mean, it's 4K, 
the angle's super tight, and I just don't feel like we get everything in the field of view. So we might be changing that. That was a good learning experience today. It was cool to learn that and figure it all out, even though we were kind of flying blind. But I do have a lot of experience with Holly stuff, so we did, of course, eventually figure it out. Uh, I think the wiring and making sure everything looked really nice took the longest. You can probably hear I'm a little sick, but thanks for watching the videos. Like and subscribe. I'll be doing more. Editing is getting super easy for me now. It's just I can go with the workflow better. I just want to get some better footage from a different camera. I might be going on GoPro. I'll, I'll keep trying this a little bit, and then I'll probably go to buy a new GoPro and start shooting videos in that and see what works out better. So anyway, thanks again. Talk to you later.